Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. I'm not going to be on here long. <laughs> I just came on here to make a comment, uh, which is a very sad commentary, but it's got to be done. And um, I'm sure most of y'all have heard by now that there is an IG model out here that has link has been linked with Chris Brown and they have been linked to um, Nick Cannon and the sick part is um, mm, mm, mm. the source magazine reports right that according to several confirmed reports that Brooklyn-based Instagram model that made her acquaintance with several well-known celebrities revealed on social media that she almost died from AIDS after being infected with the virus almost 10 years ago. Gina too said that she dropped down to 65 pounds, lost her sight in one eye, as well as her Ability to walk. Medical advances in age treatment has brought two back to almost a full recovery, but the recent revelation of the 27 year old's experience has gone viral, bringing many celebrities who were romantically linked to two under the microscope of public opinion. Two is known to be linked with artists like Chief Keith, Chris Brown, Nick Cannon, just to name a few. Now, mm, mm, mm. now, um, this, you know, is very uh, disturbing simply because everybody know AIDS, HIV lays dormant and then it makes a surprise appearance. And, uh, my concern, again, is only for the babies. Adults can do whatever the hell they want to do. We always seem to screw up our um, lives some kind of way um, and think that we have the right to screw up our children's lives. But they come through you. They're not you. Those children belong to God. They belong to the universe. So all I want to say is anybody who has had a relationship with her, I hope you test it. I hope you know you're not in the battle zone. I hope you're not keeping quiet and just passing the the uh, um, the situation off to everybody else because you have a lot of that to move on to do. I mean, too, where people know that they have some shit and they just pass it on to somebody else, Okay. Although I don't think, well, I, you know, I don't know any of these people that's uh, uh, playing. So what they seem like and what they are in their real lives, they're far apart. All I know is um, this is shocking, disturbing. And so that's why I say Dirty Dick Nick. Um, Chris Brown already looked like he's, um, he's been, he, he been using and a lot of times when you use it, you do a lot of crazy shit. So I just want to say to these guys that have um, and had this encounter with this woman, I hope to God y'all get tested and you have been tested. Because that right there is some crazy stuff. If you knew what you've been with somebody, then all of a sudden you're looking at TV and they're looking like they're formed over and you know you have been to bed with this person. Oh Lord Jesus! It's one. Of, it's got to be one of the most uh, worst feelings you, you could possibly think of, you know. And it could be something that would make you. What is that? Just make you um, lose sight and lose sight of what the hell going on with your own self to be involved and in sticking yourself in people in fertile ground. And not cherishing your sperm, not cherishing 
your eggs that you would lay down with anybody because they got money or because they look good. You know, there's a scripture, I believe it's Samuel. Ooh, what is it? Let me grab this Bible real quick. I believe it's Samuel. What is it? 16 and 6, 16 and 4. Uh, oh boy, but, but, but what it says, what, what it talks about, it talks about how we look at man on the outside. I wish I could, I wish I knew the scripture. I can't, I can't find it right now. I might be wrong. Um, because if scripture ain't relevant in your life at all, then something is wrong with you. And I don't want to be on that team. That don't mean I'm a holy roller. Don't mean I'm a... I just think the Bible, as far as I'm concerned, is pretty much some, some basic instructions. Of course, it's been all messed with and tampered with. You can even see it in the Word. But Scripture is very relevant. Extremely relevant. And if you think it's not, then you just go ahead on. But anyway, there's a Scripture that talks about how man looks at the outside. Uh-huh, but God looks at the heart, okay? And so when you see all these fine-looking women and these uh, fine-looking men, and you think, ooh, God, he look good, ooh, and that's where your starting gauge is, you already in trouble. And that's what happened with this model, Gina, too, because he's a cute little girl. And um, all it is... Is uh, that you can say get you killed, it will get you killed. So, anyway, that you know, that right there, it, it really kind of disturbed me because we just been you know talking and about Nick with all these children, and then just to hear something so hideous, I don't know what y'all think. That's some crazy shit right there. Mm -mm. Um, anyway, now, next thing I want to talk about on my mental magazine, hey, that's, that's a good name, uh, parents have filed a $25 million racial discrimination lawsuit against Sesame Street theme park, claiming four characters, including Rosita. Ignored their daughter during the parade because she's black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kate, none of y'all. Y'all let y'all done hire this woman that's done told your whole company. <laughs> See, uh, a damn racist. See, racism is a disease. And it'll mess you up. Uh, but again, the girls, the head is, is, I mean, that serves them right. What I saw with that poor little baby, there's no excuse can be made about how y'all did, little girl. That don't make no damn sense. Rosita, who was supposed to be an ethnic character, you bitch, that you would do somebody like that. That was just horrible. Because if you would have done my child like that, I don't know what I would have done. And I'm so glad that these people had enough strength. Because sometimes when you get old, you get cantankerous. And if I had been out there with my grandbaby, and she's so happy to see you, and all, and then all of a sudden you snub her like that, I'd have went up there and pulled you right back. Hey, don't you see her? You blue bitch. <laughs> anyway. A Baltimore family is suing the Sesame Street theme park for $25 million after their daughters were allegedly snubbed by the costume character. Their lawyers claim the incident is not isolated, and 25 to 30 other families have come forward with videos. Oh, my God, y'all. Show it. Just how wretched y'all are. And showing the video over the, over the years, what y'all have done. He is now calling for the theme park to pay for the girl's mental health expenses and claims one is in isolation. Congressional Black Caucus members are reportedly seeking a meeting with leaders of the theme park. 
<laughs> the suit, which seeks class action status, was filed in a federal court in Philadelphia against SeaWorld Parks. The lawsuit alleges that four employees dressed as Sesame Street character ignored Quentin Burns, his daughter, Kennedy Burns, and other black guests during the meeting, uh, the meet and greet on June 18th. This is another case now, I think. Just looking at her face makes me want to cry when I see it, Quentin Burns said at the press conference. The lawsuit comes after a viral video shows two other black girls from New York apparently being snubbed by Rosita during the parade at Langhorn Park outside of Philadelphia. This is our, this is two different kids. Sesame uh, Palace apologized in a statement for the incident and explained that the actor inside simply couldn't see their daughter due to her costume group limited vision. They thought they were going to get away with that cheap excuse first. I'll give you a two ninety nine dollars uh, excuse. Um, but I'm glad because this shit should not be tolerated and you can't mess with people with babies. Now you're bringing out the carnal instinct in every human being to mess with their children. See, you can't do that and think you're going to get, you know, it's all good. And the fact that they're doing that, it just makes you think how far back do they want to sink? How far back? Because if they want to keep on going, you know, we've never rid ourselves of this racism, this sickness called racism. I just want to know how far do these people think they want to go back? Okay? How far do y'all want to go back with the racism? And what are your, you know, this black caucus members, they seeking to meet with the theme parks general manager. Uh, Kathy Valero to discuss changes and plans of action and the training part plans to implement. You can't police people's heart. You just can't do it. You gotta ask them straight out, are you a racist? What is your feelings towards uh, black and brown people? Some things have to be asked direct, directly. And then you have to go by your, in, your instinct, your gut, you may miss a few, you may, you know, but that's the case. The fact of the matter, it has to be directly addressed. And you really can tell once you see, because you'll see their heart. And you will be able to know if you got a spirit of discernment, whether you working, whether you want them working for you or not. Otherwise, this is going to be a real recourse for a lot of black folks who have been mistreated. At this Disney, uh, I mean, SeaWorld, Sesame Street damn place. So tell me what y'all think. I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad all these families are coming out to work work. And that's good. And that's what needs to happen. Hit them where they live. And that's in the pockets. All right, family. What y'all think about these two articles? What you think about um, Nick Cannon, Chris See the with the IG model, and then what do you? What is your comments on um what's happening out here at Sesame Street, Sesame Street, at Sesame Street, whatever it's called? Leave your comments below. Okay. All right. Now, as usual, you know I'll see you in the next video.